So in order to clean this surface, there's three different steps you're gonna to wanna to take. The first step is to use soap, water, and brushes, scrub the surface, get all the heavy residue off first. Once the heavy residue is off, you may find that there's some loose flaking um, paint or material. If that's the case, you wanna use a Scotch-Brite pad or sandpaper, and you do wanna sand that surface to remove that loose material. This obviously doesn't have loose material, so that isn't coming up, but you would wanna scrub that material off. Once the loose material is off, you wanna give the surface a final cleaning, and you can do that with a good solvent like acetone, xylene, or MEK. Xylene and MEK may or may not be available, depending on what state you live in. Acetone's pretty widely available. You wanna dampen a rag, and then use the acetone to clean the surface. Make sure that you get enough acetone on the rag, and as the rags get soiled, throw them out, get a clean rag, and continue wiping. So now that the surface is clean, we can apply our tape and we'll roll it on and do a quick adhesion test to show you how much better the tape will bond after the surface has been cleaned. So I'm gonna roll it in. I wanna apply enough pressure so that I start to see some of the adhesive bleed out from around the edges. And really push down with some force and then as you go to pull the tape off, you will see the adhesive does not want to come off the surface. So the bond is much stronger than it was before I cleaned that surface.